Okay, what we have here is a uh, tilapia farm in my basement. It's uh, only a thousand gallons, and there's only a couple hundred fish. Um, you can see, as soon as I throw them a handful of food, they get right in there and start going crazy. Um, I originally put in about 200 fish and had about 10% loss. Um, this is a standard Intex uh, fishing pool, uh, swimming pool, excuse me. We've got um, trickle filters here that are filled with uh, growing media, um, excuse me, um, uh, filter media, biological filter media. Um, I'm also considering putting in a, a K1 moving bed filter, but for right now, the ammonia load, I've been checking it frequently and it's just fine um, with just these two little trickle filters. And then in the back corner here, um, I set up a uh, sand filter that's actually filled with uh, biological um, filtration material that acts as a, a nice filter um, in terms of uh, keeping the ammonia levels down and then it also uh, filters out the particulates not to a small micron size but on the larger side um, and then ultimately when it reaches a certain back pressure I um, go in and I backwash the system um, you know at the top basically just uh, switching it around and then draining it out into our floor drain. Now this has a pretty hef heavy duty pump on the hole for this size pool. Um, you could probably use the same pump for two to three size the, uh, the swimming pool. Um, again you can see in here we have uh, tilapia. Um, the tilapia are, uh, when I first put them in they were just a little bigger than uh, an eighth of an inch long. They were just a little fry. And now they're uh, you know anywhere between two and four inches long so they're a pretty good size. Um, it's going to take them about six months to get full size and ultimately my goal is uh, in this system to have about um, uh, yeah, in the neighborhood of about 500 pounds of fish and a thousand gallons of water. Now the way I have it set up right now I couldn't do that because even though there's you can see the bubbling action from all the different oxygenators in the water it's still not enough to um, you know keep the dissolved oxygen levels high enough to support that high density of fish. Um, same with the filtration system. Now you can see here I've got the the actual water temp is a little low right now. It's only 7, you know, it's around 76, 77 degrees. I try to keep it in the neighborhood of around 85. Um, the reason it's low is because I just did a partial water change. Now what I'm using for heaters for this system, because I'm trying to keep this on a budget, is I'm actually using uh, aquarium heaters that uh, you can see here. An example, they're just simple aquarium heaters, old ones I had laying around, and I'm using them just to keep the uh, water temp, you know, reasonably warm. Now because this is in my basement and the air temp is about 60 degrees, it does take quite a bit of juice to heat this sucker up. Um, for about every thousand gallons of water, you can expect to use about a thousand kilowatts of power, uh, you know, or excuse me, one kilowatt or a thousand watts of power to keep it at a temperature in the 83 to 85 zone. Um, so that's something that uh, you, know, you have to keep in mind. Now uh, over here you can see the air pump I'm using. I actually have uh, kind of a larger 70 liter per minute um, unit uh, because I really want to keep this water nice and oxygenated and one of the things that I've discovered is over time uh, the bubble rod you can see there isn't even really working um, whereas the standard blue air stones down here in the corner um, they're bubbling up fairly well um, I also had a bubble disc which you can see here uh, an 8 inch bubble disc and that's lost about 70 80 percent uh, capacity in the past two months so it seems like that's not going to really be a, a good bet in the long run um, anyways, as far as the ammonia levels, the nitrite levels, um, and, and all the other factors, everything looks pretty good and has uh, been pretty stable ever since I started. So we're going to keep uh, playing this out and see how everything progresses. Thanks for watching.